And now we're back in the green and warm and lush. Well, I say warm, it's warmer. <laughs> cows. Prairie dog. <laughs> prairie dog just looking at us. Don't get hit prairie dog. Oh, prairie dog didn't get hit. They're just north of Uray right now uh, heading towards Montrose. A lot of water coming out of the exhaust of this Subaru. More so than appears to be compensation. Montrose 26 miles. It's actually kind of pretty right here. I, I personally kind of like it. It's not as many trees and stuff as I typically like, but I like the green fields. I don't recall this place too well, actually. Well, it's nice to know that Subarus everywhere go under the speed limit. It's not just northern Colorado. I'm afraid every bird that I see on the road is going to fly into me now. I never even used to give it a second thought. Seriously, we never gave it a thought at all. <laughs> and then now I'm like, oh no, I don't want to get hit by a bird. It didn't hurt too bad, it just like, you know, just got hit by a bird. Like, you know, your body just killed a living thing. It's kind of a weird feeling sensation. It's amazing how quick it changes. Look, like there's trees and then there's just not trees. Isn't that crazy? The scenery changes are so astounding to me, how quickly they come about. Hey, you got your mirrors in our lane enough, dude? Frick. If you have a truck with tow mirrors, you have to drive with your mirrors in your lane, too, not just your truck. Just keep that in mind, people who drive trucks with tow mirrors. Uh, this person, there is a gap I could parallel park my truck in between this person and the person in front of them. There you go. This is the town of Montrose. I know nothing about it, either, other than it's here. It's south of... Grand Junction, and they apparently do not have a non-ghetto gas station. This will do. Do, 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 do. Okay, it's one o'clock right now. Should take six hours to get home. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven o'clock is when we should be home. There's something about just being in lower elevations and back in a city that just it livens me up immediately. Immediately, interwebs. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, that was Montrose. And scenery's changed again. I was about to say, Mrs. Panda's not leading anything. But I just realized because she doesn't actually know where we're going. This time I looked at the map, and I don't know where we're going either. Hey. Oh, signs. Yay for signs. Okay, I don't want to go to Grand Junction. I want to go east. East, north, east. Grand Mesa Black Canyon National Park. Uh, I don't want to admit defeat, but I think we maybe should have turned back there. Well, due to the unique way that signs are made, where they don't say a city, they just say 18 highways and they're all the same direction, but they go different ways, I have no idea. We should just go to Grand Junction, because we're right here. 70s there. If we go back, we're going up that road into the mountains and then backtracking over to there anyway. Yeah, no. Squirrel. 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 Well, that was a mistake, but it actually worked out good because this is actually going to be faster, which I'm okay with. This is so crazy to think that not that long ago we were up in this like you know crazy huge mountains, and now we're down here. It's Temperatures are in the high 60s, 70s. You know, it's almost like a desert. But we bought Mrs. Panda that bike a couple of years back. Never anticipated doing anything like this. So I guess we're not going to go into actual Grand Junction. We're going to go this way because this supposedly takes us to 70. Should I think? I hope we'll find out. So that's Grand Junction. In case anybody's wondering, I don't know what river that is, but there's people rafting in it. Palisade is where they grow peaches. Palisade peaches is what they're called. I don't know if they're any different than like other peaches. I just know that they are grown here, so they call them Palisade peaches. 
very excited to see a sign that says Denver. Now those are the hill cliffs uh, outside of Grand Junction, for anybody wondering. So this is outside of Grand Junction. Falling rock over here? Falling rock should not be able to get from there to here. Here too, they're like, this is so dry, and that's so green, and they're across the road from each other. It's just so weird, like, that the road divides exactly where it's green and where it's dry. Alright, interwebs, the camera went off just right before we got here. So this is Rifle, and we are continuing on uh, down I-70 and gonna head to, where are we heading to? Uh, Denver, wow, back home. Again, we've come out of the desert, we're back into kind of the slightly more typical mountains of Colorado. Woodland Springs, this is where I spent my birthday, actually. My wife brought me here for my birthday. Uh, last year. I love this like double stepped road. That's why 70 is beautiful in the summer. Just. Oh, that's pretty. Vail! We made it to Vail! This is what it looks like when it doesn't have snow or celebrities. So, yeah, this is Vail. There's like hotels and stuff. Very expensive homes. This is the actual resort area, so people, whenever they come stay in Vail, they typically stay in this area. I don't believe those are apartments, I think it's hotel rooms. Some of this is all ski slope area, and it's it's shadowy and cold right now. And I'm still hungry, just to give an update. Woo! icy blast. I want to go back down. I want to go back down. I want sunshine and lower elevations immediately. Again with the snow. That's just, it's Memorial Day weekend. That should not be there still. Should be completely warm and beautiful. Not that or that or what we saw before. Well, I did not realize we were going to be up this high. Seriously. I had no idea we were going up this high in elevation. I think Mrs. Panda is probably getting cold. So this is Copper Mountain uh, right there. Actually, that's the ski, you know, the mountain with the lifts and the runs and all that. I would assume Copper Mountain is called Copper Mountain because it did something involving mining and copper at some point, but I genuinely do not know and would be lying if I said I did. Guess to the right. Where's this gas station at? I don't want to be in this town for 500 freaking years. I guess that's it. Hello, well, webs. This is Frisco. Frisco, Colorado. Uh, we stopped here for some gas and some food. Just had a protein bar, and now we're back on our way. Really hope we start going down in elevation. The sun feels very nice, but it is pretty chilly when you're actually in motion. If you look at this, does this say Memorial Day to you? Now this is the Eisenhower Tunnel. Are we gonna rip bomb? I think we should. It's not as fun when you're going this fast. Anyway, this is the Eisenhower Tunnel. It's a tunnel, and uh, this is the end of the Eisenhower Tunnel. Hoorah! Apparently, as I'm learning from what I did the Peak Peak Highway and nobody tried to kill me, when we did this trip and I had one person in Denver uh, cut into me, I've come to realize that apparently I only hate people that drive up where I actually live. That is a stunning view. Oh, that's nice. With the, the sun setting and everything, too, is quite nice. That's Denver. I can see it. We basically feel like we're home once we hit Denver. So we're going to get off here. And I think this is where we wanted to go. Yeah. We're going to bypass actually going into Denver. My left foot is asleep, so shifting is quite difficult. This way. Okay. I think. We may have just completely screwed up, too. I don't know. We screwed up. But it doesn't matter. We can still go to 6th. It'll get us where we want to go. Well, interwebs, we're in Denver, and, uh, well, we're, we're not in Denver. We're in, like, the outskirts of Denver, suburbs of Denver, and it's warm. It's finally warm. I don't know why, there's just something so peaceful about, like, the smooth transitions of, like, well-done on-ramps and, and exits. I, it's, it's very peaceful to me, in a way. So anyway, there's just something really peaceful about the, how traffic just kind of separates and continues moving and just flows. How many lanes do you want, dude? You sure about that one? Is that a Nissan GTR? It is a Nissan GTR. Come on up, GTR. Nissan, pass me, Datsun. Pass me, so I can get you on video. Hi, GTR. 
Oh, you're old. See, nice car spotting. I'm honestly afraid to go around this guy. His tires keep creeping into my lane. Like, see? Crossed. I'm not only going to leave this video, but I'm going to leave this series of a tour around Colorado at that. If you like this video, if you like this series, please smash that like button. Let me know that you enjoy the content I'm putting out there. For Mrs. Panda and myself, thank you for joining us along this rave. I hope you enjoyed the trip and the video and the scenery and some of the beauty of where we call home. Until next time, bye.